everybody till it to the top here thank you for clicking this video thank you for watching if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe because listen i am bringing out very good content about building in ghana okay so please subscribe give this video a thumbs up because i'm trying to bring detailing about how to build in ghana and what you need and all that okay so my husband is here he is the brain behind all my videos that i post because he always makes sure things are going right for the house we bought some electric house and he's gonna talk about it so that you guys can learn something from him thank you joseph please go ahead uh, okay guys Thank you very much for your audience. Uh, we've reached a point where there is a need for us to do the wiring. Okay, a friend of ours helped us out. And these are the wires that we have as of now. And for me to, I want to go into details, one after the other. Because we have the Ghanaian convention and we have the American convention. Okay, the, the, the relationship back home sent us the estimate, which everything is uh, in Ghana in terms of the load and everything. But we have a friend, we, had, we have a friend here who was able to help us out, who was able to convert uh, that of the Ghana one into the US one. So if I, you guys give me the opportunity, I want to give you some little details about it. Okay, in Ghana we have the 1.5 mm millimeters and that one in here is 14 AWG that is in the US. Okay, and the other one too is 2.5 mm in Ghana. Here is 12 AWG. The 4 mm in Ghana and here in the US is 10 AGW. The 6 mm in Ghana here is 8 AWG. And 10 mm in Ghana in the US is 6 AWG. Okay. So looking at these wires that we've been able to purchase as of now, we have uh, the 14. AGW that is representing the 1.5 mm in Ghana. So here, when we talk of 1.5 mm in Ghana, in the US is 14 AGW, and we have something that we call st a stranded, because the stranded one is more flexible, is very soft, and that was recommended to us by our a friend who is an es expertise who had worked in Ghana for so many years before uh, coming to the U.S. So looking at these pictures, we have uh, the 14, the 14 AWG, that is in Ghana, is 1.5 mm. We have it over here. We have the red, we have the black, we have uh, uh, another red, we have the green, we have uh, we have blue color also over here. So in summation, what I will say here is we have the 14 AWG, that is the 1.5 mm. The 12 AWG, that is the 2.5 mm. Okay, and the green ones that you see here, that is 12. The 12, the, that is, is in green color, and <clears throat> we bought six of them, and that is only for the earth. Those people who know more about electrical uh, jobs, when you talk of the earth, here we call it 12 AG, uh, AWG. Okay. That is the American uh, convention. convention. So, I don't know the day, we bought the 14 AWG, we bought the 12 AWG, 
and finally we bought the 10 a wg so we have the 14 we have the 12 and we have the 10. these are the wires the specifications these are the wires that we are trying to send back home for the wire at the end of the day these wire wires can be converted into 110 and at the same time two, 220. okay so i have a question so that means that you don't buy uh wire for 210 and you don't buy no so the the, same this same wire, wire will be converted into 110 and at the same time 220. okay so there's no need for you to buy 110 wires and 220 wires separately okay the, uh, the the two the one that you have over here will be able to will be able to uh do uh work for the convert to be converted into 110 and uh, 120. One, uh 220. 220. Okay. yeah so we just need only and at the end of the day, we have also one thing that you have to remember is when you are buying these wires, we have one that is solid. Mm -hmm. The solid is a little bit hard, mm -hmm. but you have to buy what we call the, the stranded. Mm -hmm. The stranded, you see the stranded mm -hmm. reaching over here, yeah, on the bundle. And every bundle you see over here is 500 feet, which is very, very long. Yeah. yeah. We also bought uh, the one, uh, the 10 AGW. We bought two of, two of them. One black, you see it over here, which is very, very big. And this one too is 10 AWG. And what we bought that two. For? Yeah, that, that one is uh, the 10 of uh, the 4mm. We go back home, they say four millimeters, four mm. mm -hmm. Here is 10, and we bought two of them. Okay. That is, these are the most expensive ones. The 10 AWG, these are the most expensive ones. So what happened was, the our electrician back home gave us the estimate, but a friend who I just told you that he's an expert was able to convert everything into American standard. And that has been able to, and that has helped us you know, to buy the required number of wires that we needed for the for the house. Okay. Okay. And also, we you look over here, you see that we have some white wires here. These are one, two, three. Every bundle over here is 500 feet. And that is for the TV cable. These are the TV cable. Yeah. So is there a difference between TV cables and... Um, uh, um, these, yeah, this, this, is a, this is just for the TV. Oh, just for TV. Just for the TV. You look at it. These are, these ones are very big, mm -hmm. big wires, and it's meant only for the t the TV. We are also planning to buy what we call Cat Six. The Cat Six is meant for the CCTV. CCTV. We are here to buy it. We're going to buy it for an internet. No, I don't think I don't know whether it's the internet, but the guy told us that it's, it's meant, meant meant purposely for. Uh, the CCTV. Okay. Yeah, that will be used to connect for the whole for the whole house. Okay. So that at the end of the day, you can once you are in in the house, you able to see whatever is going on going in, on, in yeah. outside. Yeah. Especially outside the the house. Yeah. Yeah. So in all, uh, these are to cut everything short, or in the nutshell, these are the wires. These are American made wires, mm -hmm. and they are very very good. The quality. Quality. It lasts. It lasts long, very, very long, more than any uh, electrical wires that we, uh, according to our friend, he knows. He has used wires from Europe. He has used wires from Canada, but according to him, the best wires that you can rely on is the one that is made in the U.S. And these are the wires that we have bought, and these are the wires that we are going to use. Uh, for the house, and he's an electrician back home, he, and he's, yeah, he's yeah. So he knows he what knows. he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. he knows. He's so, and and can you tell me how much we spent so far about? Uh, right now, uh, I think we spent uh, almost three thousand six hundred dollars, but we still have about three or four of these bundles that we have to add. The same bundle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I I think I need a fourteen AW. I need about. You still need about three or four of them. And one is how much? One is about 70, 72. Plus tax is almost $75. Okay. For, so. for, 
for each. And this one is three thousand five hundred and mm -hmm. fifty something. Yeah, but I know that by the time we finish, we'll be heading towards about four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand dollars. Okay. But we need a cut six, which is uh, which we are, we are going to buy from Home Depot, and we also need the fourteen AWG, which is the one point five mm. Okay. Yeah. We need about two or three in addition to to what we have as of now yeah okay so guys uh thank you for watching this is still to the top <laughs> don't forget to subscribe we are trying to give you details about whatever is happening over here and the kind of wires that you need to use over over when you are building back home especially if you are somebody who is in the u.s you know so most of these wires these wires are meant for the 110 and at the same time, it's me also meant for the 220. 220. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. once you buy this, you are good. You don't need to buy a separate wires for 110 and you don't need separate wires for 220. Once you are able to buy these wires and these wires, every bundle here is 500 feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and a lot. you could see that is 500 feet is very, very long. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you a question, Anna? Mm -hmm. So... My question is, I just want you to give them a little bit of encouragement. You just came from Ghana and building in Ghana. Um, I always said that it's not hard if you find somebody uh, who is honest. And, yeah, and can building in Ghana is not as hard as we think. Mm -hmm. But the whole idea rests on the person who is, who is helping you out. Because you need somebody who will be honest to you. Will be honest at all times will be dedicated, will make sure that whatever you buy has value mm -hmm. for the money that you are spending. You understand? So these are the things that you need. And at the same time, you have to make sure that every little bit, every bit that you do, you have to try as much as possible to get a video mm -hmm. about whatever they are doing. So at the end, at the end of the day, you'll be, you'll be able to be in a situation where you'll be able to grasp everything that is going on. Don't leave every, anything on, uh, undone. Undone. Yeah. Because I don't know, you have to be on top of them. Make sure that whatever they are doing, you are with them. You ask questions. Anything, even when they send you a video, you have to make sure that you scrutinize the video to make sure that everything that is being done over there, they are doing the right thing. Yeah, they, done, they did it right. Yeah. Because I, I, you just, they send out a video and you saw that there's a leakage of water, right? Yeah, yeah, in the house. In the house, yeah. You but saw the, that. The, the contractor never told us until I watched the video. I scrutinized it very, very well. And you before saw I was able to know that. Okay. So even when they send you video, my brother, my sister, make sure that you look at it very, very critically. You know, watch it step by step to make sure that whatever you've asked them to do, that is what they are doing. Yep. Other than that, my friend, things will go bad at the end of the day. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for watching and uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe till it to the top. <laughs> we are always going to be with you guys and we are the journey that we started last year. We are continuing and at the end of the day, uh, we will try as much as well to make everybody happy. So that at the end of the day, when by the grace of God, you are able to go home, you can enjoy life and enjoy your house and you can enjoy your labor at the end of the day. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Next time we see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.